I have a dead against those things. So, thank you guys. This is Rosan. And yeah, this is Jin. The kid is hurt. Yeah, we got the shade stone, and basically we need to get rid of crystals. And yeah, we need to do it all, all over Giza. Oh, nice. So here I'm gonna save. We're gonna have the game as auto save because there are some areas that actually don't have a don't have a save point that close. Like for example, this in particular, I would have failed. I would have had to re to go all the way back. I don't know, somewhere else. This makes the game so much... It doesn't drop the difficulty, it only makes it more fair. I just need to avoid those wolf things. Here we are. Let's try it. We get 28. Okay. I'll go to the one to the one due east from here. In case you wonder, Giza is as far as you go for now. There is a reason for that. Really, is the game lagging or is my joystick lagging as far as simply goes? Hold on guys, I'll cut the video for now, see you in a, in a bit.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry for the awkward pause. I'm doing something as far as job goes. Yeah, I'm getting a job again. <laughs> Should have recorded for a while after I had to drop the other one. Well, basically, I don't want to bore you with that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm getting a job, so that's why I'm recording and bursting out videos. I, you guys get the videos for the week, sort of. And I get some marginal break because honestly, this is a game that I don't recommend playing. I recommend it in short bursts because of how long and actually difficult it is. Because, yeah, this, as I stated before, this game is hard. And I'm talking the regular version, I haven't played this one. Because of the limitation put by the Zodiac jobs, I'm guessing this is even more difficult. And I'm thinking of a few things that actually suck. I, I remember a lot of boss fights being incredibly hard. I yeah. would not be surprised. There we go. Yeah, hyenas are not that hard to deal with. Let's hold the Shade Stone. And that is almost everything. We're doing okay. <laughs> One of them will take you on as an apprentice. Okay. Sorry if I, if I cut a lot of dialogue. If you guys want me to read the dialogue, I will. I just want to get through this quickly because, honestly, the game gets interesting after. It gets very interesting after this. As I said, story-wise, it's not a mess. It's not an epic story. But... God damn it, is it fun? I'm having fun. But I just want to get this out of the way so that I can finally do away with not having gambits because damn it, it sucks not having gambits. This is, it sucks not having gambits that you can customize. Because yeah, right now, all we have is attack. And yeah, this area, I... Yeah, that path leads to another section of the world map, but unfortunately, we can't go there just yet. Hello there, Killer Rabbit. Okay. Some cash. And I'll go through here. If I'm not wrong, this should leave me in the Esther Sand. Yes, it... It does drop me in the Esther Sand, and this is the Labyrinth. Yeah, this is a section where the Cactoid is. I am not gonna deal with that just yet, as I stated, because the Gambits... Because I don't have Gambits. Gambits make this game a lot better. Gambits are not only a niche, guys. Here it comes. Thank you. It's very recommended that you learn how to play that, by the way. Experiment a lot with that, because the game, even though it's really difficult, it rewards you for being smart with your gambits. Ooh. Yeah, chain levels make it... A lot easier to get certain items as I said it. Oh look, an echo orb. I think that this is where the item names were being yeah. were starting to be changed. There we go, Firestone. I am uh, not gonna bother with that guy. Uh, isn't there a crystal here? Uh, no, the- oh, yeah, there is. I'll go there in a bit. What I'm trying to do here is farm money. Pretty much. I stated, I use- the only reason I ever, ever, ever farm here is money. Because, yeah, there is no way to get money by fighting, unlike previous 
and unlike previous games of the franchise, this is the one that started that. You don't get money by by fighting. You get you get money by basically selling. I don't care for you. You get money by doing what I'm doing. Just putting that out there. Oh, we got it. So now we go back to that kid. It's that nothing to it. Go to Jin and see what he says. I hope I did it right. Sure, let's go. And we got the sunstone. Oh, automatic. Hey, you got a sunstone. Let's take a look. Not bad for city folk. Wow, dude. So here's what happened. Masu, Masu was always warning us to do it from the railroads, right? Well, a bunch of us decided we'd have a little contest. See who's the bravest. It started out as a lark, but Todd said that none of us kids living on the plains should be scared of monsters. I guess I got carried away. Do let any of the grown-ups know though, okay? Anyway, I'm gonna make some better now. Let's see what to village. I'll race you. Try and keep up. Jin made it back home safe and sound. He is a good boy, but now his mind wanders. He never thinks of the worry it causes me. I'm sorry if there's any trouble. Please take these with my thanks. 50 gil, 2 potions, and teleport stones. As I stated, the reason teleport stones are important is because you can warp. And this is where I think Panello part ways with you. So I'll get to that cutscene in a bit. Actually, no. I'm cutting right now because I've already wasted a lot of time. That's all for this episode of Final Fantasy XII. Next time, we'll continue through the adventure. This is Rosan, and thank you guys for watching.